Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Welcome back. My name is John Megacycle, and you just wandered in. Wandered in. Wandered in. I can talk already. Five seconds in, we're keeping this recording. <laughs> you just wandered into another episode of Industry Giant 2. We just completed the second mission of Banana Republic. We're now up to mission three, whiskey, beer, and wine. Uh, let's see, the party needs more money, comrade. It's time we resorted to means that are a little out of the ordinary. Actually, the export of whiskey, beer, and wine is prohibited, but maybe we should interpret this law a little more generously for the good of our fight for the people. After all, where there are prohibitions, there are good prices. Aw, yeah. Therefore, smuggle, ahem, <clears throat> export these goods out of the country to get some more money rolling in at last. All you've got to do is see to it that the whiskey, beer, wine land in the right storage facility. The actual <laughs> export will then be taken care of by someone else. Remember your own wheel again. Wheel. Huh. Alright. Remember your own wheel again and put five million on the side. And if you're successful, of course, you'll be none the worse for it. Alright. I'm ready. Let's do this thing. Ridiculously loud again. That's okay. So, five million cash they gave us ten years. Whiskey, beer, and wine needs to be delivered. A lot of these things, actually, every single one of these things is going to require. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Every single one of these is going to require some level of agriculture. So, this is again something where we're going to have to make sure we have a decent buildup. And it's not all at once, because it's going to be almost impossible to get that much product in that quick. Yeah, there's my quartz sand for bottling. I'm just scanning around a little bit, make sure this is all trim and true. Okay, so we've got San Marco. Uh, oh, 85,000. Very nice. Very impressive. San Miguel. Uh, almost 53,000. Very much. San Luca. Okay, I'm starting to notice a pattern here. 10,000. Uh, San Pedro. Uh, almost 10,000. Uh, Tixon? Almost 70,000 there. Juarez? Under 10,000. Okay. Uh, Quando? Uh, almost 10,000. Alright. So, Tixon, San Miguel, and San Marcos seem to be the three places we want to con concentrate on. Now, you'll notice each of these have their own ports, or their own overseas harbor. So, let's see here. They'll import glass, sugar, coffee beans, tea leaves. They'll export what? Whiskey, wine, soft drink. What do we need for soft drink then? Can I actually... Where do I make soft drinks? Coffee beans, sugar, glass. I could actually... How much are you gonna buy? Eight? So... Glass... Sugar... What was the other thing? Glass sugar and what? Glass sugar coffee beans. Okay. Am I understanding this right? Glass sugar coffee beans. I can make two stacks of this stuff without having to do anything. So I would import 9,000, 3,000, so let's see, that's 12, 12 and a half. Let's say 13,000 to buy the product. I could sell it back for 33 and they'll buy eight of it. That sounds just ridiculous. Is that really true? Okay, not every single one of them does glass, but sugar and coffee beans, that's a good chunk of the raw stuff that I couldn't make myself. Uh, what about here? Uh, same thing, except the glass we're missing. That's actually pretty awesome. So this is what I was kind of saying before is with these offshore harbors or whatever, oversea harbors, I think we just found a little bit of a glitch here. Glass, sugar, coffee beans. I almost want to skip a month and just see if that's the case. I'm really, really very curious. Now, in addition to it being here, this was going to purchase, what, eight soft drinks? I'm very confident we can get some shops here. Uh, one, three, two... Two, three, two, two. Yeah, we could we could get some business done here. Uh, let's pick up the pace a little. 
I'm thinking two factories, a boat here, ship it around. Heck yes, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Um, okay. Now granted, what we're gonna import is not nearly gonna be enough to wet our whistle on the whole production front, but that gives us a really nice start to an economic center, really does. So let's just pick this up until it's the end of January. And there we go. That's that. So now, we've got glass. We have one stack of glass? How much? This says imports two a month. Oh, so maybe it's twice per month? Instead of stacks? No, two stacks. That seems about right. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this party started. I want a brewery here that's going to take from this and then a storage facility of my own here that's going to hold the soda, right? Soft drink, light it up. 6.7, I'm going to need another one easily. But you'll see exactly like it did before. This should, this should buy from here and produce, yep. So let's get another soft drink, another, yep, 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 do it. And speed this up a little bit. Now everything will be sold directly to this Oversea Harbor. Kind of want to see how much money we're going to make at the end of March because we should have full eight. Yep, we've got a full eight right now. And we should be able to check here and see what we've got for exports. We had a full eight last month, it looks like. 100% supply and demand. Yep, this is kind of the thing I was worried about, is at the end of the month, we're not getting a full a lot of glass. But we're making our money back easily. I'm pretty confident we are, anyhow. Normal selling price is 42. This is buying it for how much again? 33? So we're not making nearly as much cash out of it as we could. But we're still making a good amount of coin. That's, I mean, that's easy money. There's no logistics involved to any of that. So I'm going to go ahead and thunk this right here. Crank up the price. That'll sell us one more item. Which is pretty solid. Pretty darn solid, if you want my opinion. Because that's, what, 63000 Yeah, that's, that's good money right there. Awesome. Okay, so this produces 7.8. There's 12 that comes in every month. So I do need both of these factories. And I do want to make sure that we use every piece of glass they bring us. So let's start with that. That looks good. So I want April to come and go, and I want to see how much money we're sitting on. That's a really nice chunk of change. Even though we are paying way more money than if we were to make it ourselves, that's still pretty impressive. So we've got 12, uh, 16, I think 18 items right here. 20. Straight 20. I'm seeing almost $3 million in our account. Hey! $450,000. That's pretty darn solid. And we still have 8 items left. Um, confident I can't build another store. Uh, yeah. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting quite a good chunk of change out of that. So, Slow burn, maybe? Not the mega cash cow was hoping for, but certainly a significant amount of cha-ching. Uh, okay, so what do we have here? Tea leaves and... So what do we need to for a coffee shop? What do we need to make? Coffee, coffee, tea leaves. I can import it right here. How much does that sell for? Can I sell it for a good amount of cash? Fives and sevens seems okay. I almost want to just stay here. Threes and fours and sixes. Yep. Yep, perfect, okay. So let's turn this down. Coffee and tea. Probably two more factories should set us up pretty proper right here. So I'm thinking, what is that, four and four? Oh, we do have a higher demand during winter time for tea, uh, which makes sense. So let's see here. Uh, what do I... Oh, crap. I didn't check. What did I actually need? Just... Yeah, tea and coffee. All right. Awesome. So here's this. There's our tea. There's our coffee. So I want to produce eight. Eight seems about right. 
eight and eight. That gives us a little bit of a surplus. Let's tamp this down to three. And beverages to three. I don't want to go too gung-ho over it. But that works out nicely. I can set up two more factories and whatever in every one of these nodes and just call it a day. So let's figure out how much money we're going to make. Uh, coffee is a resource we're also going to use coffee for, but take a look at here. One stack of this, of the coffee, is going to more than meet our available glass capacity, so I'm not worried about them running over each other. Uh, yeah. Soda should produce as quickly as it can, and that's the end of that. So let's go ahead and look at the tea leaves first. We're going to purchase tea leaves at seven and a half. Okay. We're going to make it into the leaves themselves, which is 16 and a half. We're going to sell it for more than that, so 24. That's a good profit margin. Again, if we were to make it ourselves, I don't think we can actually grow coffee and tea. I don't think those are things we can actually make, period. Um, so still good profits. Uh, coffee looks like it's just going to be pretty much the same, a little higher though. Uh, yeah. 28,000. Still a good chunk of change. I'm pretty happy with that all the same. Yeah. So let's just speed this up a little bit. Again, that's going to put some stuff there. And this is going to be a nice buffer. We're still investing a big chunk of change. We're investing like $300,000. No, it's more than that, isn't it? $370,000 for some of these new pieces of infrastructure. But it's the slow trickle of cash that I want to invest in right now to make sure that we're making that money in the long haul. So, what else can we do? San Miguel does not have its own port. Or overseas harbor, whatever. I'm going to keep calling it a port. I don't care. Um, I could ship the stuff over or I could buy it again. I'm not too sure what I want to do. And actually, it looks like the game really intended for me to do this. Uh, considering yeah, I can't sell any of the liquors at all. Okay, so this is the storage facility. Where is the glass? The glass is only up there, is that right? I didn't really check around for resources. Oh, there's some over here in the east as well. That's significantly closer. Um, I need 256. How much is available here? Oh, lots. Lots and lots. We're good. We're good. That's that's what I want. That's exactly what I want. Okay. So here we're going to do the same rigmarole. Um, it does not need to touch that harbor. I guess it's good if it does. Can I get a normal harbor here? I can get one. Uh, which I do want. Yes. Because I want to make sure where I'm going to put this storage facility is going to be able to touch everything. Ah, see that's... Oh, I'm one square off. Son of a gun. That's no fun. Okay, so what if I did something like this? This goes away. Uh, yeah, we lost a little bit of coin there. I'm not crying too hard. Okay, this works out. This works out even better, actually. Yes. Okay. Glass comes here, is the plan. Glass comes to this facility. I'm going to speed up time just a little bit. I'm going to run out of cash pretty pretty on the quick. Something like this. See where I'm going with this? We'll bring the glass over. And then we'll still make soda pop. But since glass was the only thing I wasn't importing, this will actually be cheaper and significantly more efficient. Just in case I need more trains, let's just do this. It takes not a lot of cash to get that done with. Uh, 45,000, all right, slightly more than I thought, but that's okay. So I want this train to go twice. Let's just do two trains once a month. With, nope, not quartz, glass. Again, ship the products that are the most expensive. Don't, don't sell yourself short. With, uh, where the crap are you going? Oh, did I not? Whoops, I totally did not. My bad. 
Yeah, now you're gonna leave. Yep. No, nope. good. Trial trial run. Trial run, kids. That's that's what we were doing. <laughs> Making sure the hardware works. That's uh that's the thing I was doing. <laughs> Great. Kick up the yams. This is where we're going to bring the glass to everywhere else. I don't want to buy the glass straight up. No need for it. So there's this. And I'm going to need another factory just going absolutely full tilt. Uh, let's say four raw and the rest can be manu fully manufactured. I'm fine with that. So I need some factories if you please. Whiskey and beer is going to make us some nice soda. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit. We're going to still purchase the sugar and the cocoa from, or not, or the coffee, not cocoa. And the coffee from the facility here. Ooh, 600,000. Nice profit margin. So something like this is going to be good. And soda, all the soda time. Boom. We're going to build another facility or two right here. And what that's going to allow is we'll be able to take it from San Marco, move it right over to San Miguel right there. Done. Freaking deal. You know what I'm saying? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And another factory. Okay. So they can bring in two stacks of coffee and sugar. And I can only consume what? So it's 32 they're bringing in. I can eat up 14, 15 of that. I can build a whole nother facility if I need to. Which is not bad. But now I've got the glass. So now I can start thinking about other stuff. Like growing the wheat. And working on that. So, what do we need? What's the most of what we need? Is whiskey. Good choice. Uh, whiskey is wheat and glass. Okay, I just need 120 some. Uh, what's the problem here? I'm running out of money by a bunch. What the heck is happening? I must be purchasing a lot. Uh, here's what we're gonna do with this. Let's work on our economics a little bit more. Let's turn this to six. Oh, that's right, because I'm not actually selling anything yet. That's why we're hemorrhaging a little bit of the cashy cash. Okay. So how far can I throw this thing that it makes sense? One, three, two? Yep, I'd say that makes sense. And then threes, fours, and fives and whatevers, yep, also makes sense. Turn that way down. This is not where I want to sell all the volume. It's where I want to get some decent volume moving, but not where I want to sell everything. Okay. Single boat here. Um, I think that's pretty safe, regardless of where I'm going to put the shop. 232. 243. Yep. And so the other half of the street, 232, that works out perfect. Something like that should do us just fine. No, no, dang it. Come on. No! Shoot. Uh, that's okay. I'll rework this one. Sometimes, sometimes I can get it dialed in. No problem. Other times, it's just... No! Okay, so this is going to be a problem, isn't it? Um, I like that so much better. Oh, was that? Okay, that was out of range. I'm going to be out of range regardless, so here's what I'm going to do instead. I, 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 I don't know if this is a smart way to do this or a dumb, lazy way to do this. We're going to find out, though. <laughs> I'm just going to do two warehouses. I don't really know what else I could possibly do. Um, but hopefully... A couple of runs will even this out nicely, so something like this. Okay, very good. I just need a boat that runs like once a whatever. Let's up this up a little bit. Yes, this thing. Um, you know what? Move over full, full loads of it, and then we'll even it out as we go. So there. Yep. Fair ship. Awesome. Repair facility. Awesome. Yep, we are sitting on hella soda. This is eventually going to hit the 4 mark. Are we set it to 6? Let's set it to 5. 
It's going to eventually hit the five mark and then we're good. And then we can still use the glass and everything for everything else. So this is going to make one more run, fill it again, another run, fill it completely, and then it'll spill over to the other warehouse. That's the plan. And then I'll just say, hey, only once a month, only bring six, which will hopefully be enough for both. So that's the master plan. But I want to have a little bit of a backup there. Uh, we're doing pretty good here. Oh, cripes. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Oh, I did set it to three. No, that's perfect. Yeah, no, that's, that's good. Now, the question is, do I boat whatever I want from here over to here? Probably not, right? Yep, so now this next run is going to overspill it, and then I'll tap it down. But I want that to happen first. Um, also, what can we do about coffee shops? Okay, slow it down. We've already burnt through a year and a half. Oh my goodness, that is just delightful. Uh, eight is perfect. Uh, fives. So let's leave it at eight. I can make eight, right? No problem. Well, uh, let's do this. Let's reduce this to two because I'm legit buying everything from this thing. Um, yes, food industry. I would like you to make me tea and coffee. So tea can be eight. That's fine. I think we're going to be burning through eight, no problem, during the winter months, right? Six, four, four, eight. Eight's a little overboard, but that's okay. Uh, coffee, you're going to make me eight. How much are we eating up? Again, eights. Let's go fives. I don't mind a little excess. Um, let's see, set that to two. I want this to be set to three. Because I want enough room for the glass. That's the whole big point of me setting up this bit of a network. Now, we're sitting on two and a half mil. That gives me a little bit of room to work. So, uh, hmm. <laughs> Yep, that makes sense. And this makes sense. And that makes sense. Okay. Glass will come here with the wheat. So I need uh, wheat, hops. What did I need? Whiskey, right? Right, whiskey. Uh, so whiskey requires wheat. Yep. Uh, so I need 128. Three months of this would would not get out of the park or three years of it so one two uh, I kind of want the math literally as close as I can get it but I kind of don't care so 42 oh the planting seasons April shoot I'm a few months off uh, 42 and 48 is 90 so I need 30 oh 30 perfect now let's see if I can get this all to fit I think I did... No, that was 120. Dang it, I'm 8 short. Um, 1930. Yeah, I need 128. So, where can I get 8 more? There's 5 more. Can I do this? Oh, there's 8 perfectly. I think that's 120. I think, I think I did this right. Could have been totally, terribly wrong. I have no idea. I'm not going to build the facilities until I need them. There's zero point for me to do that. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's do at least one for glass. Wait until full. Because I don't think I have enough glass to meet the needs of two of these things anyhow. So, go. And actually, I think I want another facility anyhow. A finished product. So, this is going to come here. It'll hold glass and whatever. Maybe I'm freaking out too much. Let's, let's let this slide a little bit. I spent a million and a half. Um, so that takes care of wheat. What else do I need? I need wine and I need beer. So beer requires hops. <gasps> Oops, excuse me. Hops and glass. I need 64. 64 beer, okay. Hops, 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 hops. I need 64. We're already, this is <laughs> very close to... More than halfway. Okay, so there's 38 and 32. Puts me at 70? That's fine. 
It's just I didn't want to go super duper crazy over with the uh, the wheat and amount of money. Okay, fair. Oh, one and a half million. All right, four point eight point nine point two point twenty seven. Okay. Uh, I kind of don't mind if I've got to farm this over, like if I got to truck it over or something. Uh, let's start with this. This is a lot to deal with already. Uh, let's see here. Oh, when does when is hops planted? Oh, they're both seeded in April. Oh, I missed everything. That's okay. It'll give us a nice year to beef up some profits. Uh, which, 1.5 again? Yeah, we're, we're getting about 1.5 million. That's pretty awesome, and I definitely need more glass. Hey, how you doing? Uh, clone? Thank you. And we've got plenty of raw product here. Uh, four stacks. I'm pretty happy with that. But I'm really glad I didn't spin up another ship because I would not have had the capacity. Uh, one more maybe? I don't see why not. Okay, go. And come and go. I always roll the dice high on that bigger storage. Uh, for good reason, I think. But some I'm sure it's overkill. Get it dialed in a little bit more. I'm sure it's unreasonable overkill. Uh, but that's okay. So, uh, yeah, we got to sit for about a year. But we are making some tidy profits all over the board. Being able to purchase directly from the foreign market and then sell right back to it is pretty awesome. And again, because we're doing so much buying, we're really cutting into our profits. But this saves us a lot of money on the logistics. Absolutely. Not only do I not have to produce the product myself, but I also don't have to ship the darn thing. Saving me a ton of money in the long run, even if I'm making less on the per dollar value. So, anywho, not super worried about that. Uh, actually, these will purchase wine and beer. I just thought about that, too. Again, the prices are terrible, but in a pinch, if you need some quick cash, not too bad. I don't, I don't think it's too bad. Okay, so this is what I forgot about. Hey, you. About cut that in half, one start a month. Yep, it's evening out nicely, but yeah, we don't need to ship that much, but I still want stuff to be pushed over there. Let's go with four. And this can go to three. And this can go to three. That way we're not losing, yeah, we're not losing stock. Even though it's gonna ship a little bit more than it needs. It'll hit one and fill up, and then it'll go back to the other one. Okay, some good glass coming in here. Um, I think I will build another facility. I think that makes sense. So, something like this. This does not need glass anymore. Or, uh, or finished product. Uh, thank you. This can have no wheat agriculture products at all. Cool. I'm going to throw down like two or three breweries, and we're going to call this pretty solid. we got a really good start. We have enough for two of the commodities we need. We're in year two right now. Pretty happy with this. Everything will plant in April. I started off with, what, three million? Four million? How are we doing total now? Yeah, we started with four. We needed five. What's our company value? 20 million in two years. That's That's pretty awesome. That's pretty darn awesome. Uh, where's the boat that's taking the glass? Hey, how you doing? Uh, clone, and... Let's start with that. We've got a few months until this stuff is going to be ready anyhow. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to call it an episode here. Let's go ahead and slow down time. Whew, we've been moving pretty quickly through the Banana Republic campaign, and I'm pretty darn happy about it. So, thank you all for joining me. My name is John Megacycle. We are taking a break from the, what was this one again? Whiskey, Beer, and Wine mission in Industry Giant 2, the Banana Republic campaign. Thanks again for joining me. Always nice to have you around. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time.